Hey guys, it's me, Ashley, um, from Ashley's Got Book Excitement, this channel, ACB's Got Book Excitement. Yeah, so I'm going to try again to do the vlogs because I did them a little bit and then I sucked and I stopped and that's me. So we are going to try, try again. So today, November 1st, 2020. 2020 what a year so yeah right now I am reading do not disturb by Tilly Bagshaw this is a chunker of a book it's like 556 pages I'm right here hooray hooray so I'm almost done with this and this book is about hotels rich people hotels they have hotels right next to each other and it kind of starts like this hotel war and there's a bunch of characters this book this book is kind of a mess but it's an addicting mess it's like a trashy reality tv show that i mean i know it's not good i know it's not the best but i just can't stop I don't know if it's addicting or if I'm just like really interested to see what's going to happen. I don't know. It's just a very easy read. It's addicting. It's trashy. It's messy. There's lots of awful people in it, but I don't know what it is. But I just keep reading it. And I'm almost done with it. I wanted to finish it in October, but that didn't happen. And once I finish that, I would like to start Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. Riley Sager is a chef's kiss. Um, I've read two of his books, and I'm planning on reading all of them. And this one, I don't know everything, because I don't want to know everything. But I think it's about um, a girl whose father had made this horror movie, I think, and she comes back maybe to the house where he made it. I don't know. Riley Sager books are really fun. They always are, they always have interesting twists, I think. And usually I'm not able to guess what's going to happen because I'm not that good at guessing. So, we'll see if I stick to this vlog. I think I'm going to do it Sunday to Saturday just to make it easier on me. I don't know how many clips I will actually upload. I definitely won't be put together in all of them because I am an ugly person. And yeah, this is what I'm planning to read. I'll catch you guys up when I actually have more time because I have no room on this memory card and it will probably stop. So yeah, we're trying to get with the vlogs. We are. So I will see you guys later. Hello, it's me. First off, I apologize for the lighting. I think it was a bad idea for me to restart the vlogs in November after a time change that that might not have been smart but I did it anyway so it's dark and honestly I am too lazy to film in the morning before work because I value sleep more than I value productivity yeah so I just wanted to pop on and let you know because you care, that I finished Do Not Disturb by Tilly Bagshaw last night. I read this many pages. I was very proud of myself. And this book, I think I'm going to give it like a 3.2 out of 5. It, it's enjoyable for what it is. It's like, it's... It's trashy. It's like a trashy reality TV show kind of thing. Um, that At least that's what it felt like to me. So it's about these two, these hotels, these rival hotels in the Hamptons, rich people. One hotel is out to destroy the other. And it's just like a bunch of people that have things to do with that hotel. Um, a bunch of characters that like the hotels or what kind of link them and Yeah, it's trashy. It's messy. They're not good people but 
in its own way, it was entertaining. But I, I'm going to say they're not good people. They're not good people. There's cheating. Um, it's adult. So there's lots of weird stuff. Um, some of our, like the main guy, Lucas, he's kind of a man whore. He just, everybody. And he has a, a relationship with a teenager. I don't know how old she was. She was like either 18 or 17. I'm not sure. But yeah, they're not good people. Not good people. But it was entertaining. It was too long though. This thing was 500 and my copy was 557 pages. That's entirely too long for what this was. And it had weird time jumps and it was an experience, this book. So today, on the my lunch break, I did start Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. And guys, so far, it's a win. A win, win, win. I think I explained it to you wrong when I first um, told you about it in the last clip. Which is not surprising because I don't know what I'm talking about most of the time. But I think I told you that her father made a movie or something. That's not right. So this family lived in this estate called the Bain Berry Estate for 20 days. And they left in the middle of the night because haunted things were happening there. And the girl's dad writes a book about their experience in this estate. And it goes on to become a bestseller. And yeah, so it's kind of, it's haunted housey. It's like the Amityville Horror House. They say it's worse. They say it's worse. And so now we're going forward in time to when the girl, she was five when they lived in that house. And she's now an adult and her dad has just died and he left the house to her. She didn't even know that he still owned the house. So I think she ends up going back because she's maybe going to try to sell it or something. But so far I'm liking it. And it's kind of cool because it has like chapters that are from the dad's book interspersed so you get to see like what happened in the house what's in that book so yeah that's my reading update for now again i am sorry this i this is what it is so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one hello it's me happy tuesday longest week ever um so I just thought I'd do like a stupid update. Cause why not? Why not? So Home Before Dark, reading it, really liking it. I'm on page 88. Has it scared me? Not yet. But I would not go into that house by myself. That's just me, just me. I would have been scared if like I had been in that house, but it hasn't like given me nightmares yet. No. What else can I say? Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. Um, so way back at the beginning of these when I started trying to do the vlogs, you know, like a cool YouTuber, yeah. Um, I was so excited because the 100, the final season, was premiering. Well, well, well. So, this final season is now over, and I did not like it at all. It was the most disappointing thing that I had ever watched. I don't understand why they decided to that's what they wanted to do for a final season it sucked um and what they did to bellamy blake sucked i mean i'm not gonna spoil anything if you guys want to watch it but it was awful it was just like one more cherry 
on top of 2020. Taking something that I thought I was going to love and just crushing all my hopes and dreams. So I wanted to let you guys know that because I just think it's funny sometimes when I go back and like watch um, my earlier vlogs and I'm so excited for the 100. I just thought I'd update you on what happened with that and it wasn't good. Ugh. So yeah, I'm just going to read more of Home Before Dark and Panic Internally. Mm -hmm. So I'll see you guys later in my next update, whenever that will be. Hey guys, it's me, Ashley. Yes. So, this is a first for me. I have never vlogged in my car. That's, it's, it's what? So, I'm at work. It's Friday. We are excited for Friday. Um, what's that? It's November 6th. Yeah. So, I thought I would do like a little update while I'm on my lunch break, while I'm sitting in my car. There's no one around to judge me. We're gonna do it. So, still reading Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I'm on a page 251. So I'm right here. I have this much left. I've done well. I'm really enjoying this. I'm glad this is living up to the, I have not read a, a bad Riley Sager book yet because I can depend on Riley Sager. Right, 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 right. But yeah, um, I think in my last clip I said that I wasn't freaked out. There have been a couple of things that have happened that have freaked me out. Um, not like nightmares because I'm okay. I won't tell you because I won't spoil. But yeah, I think one of the things that freaked me out was just because I live in the country with woods around me and something creepy happened that involved woods and I was like oh please don't let that happen to me and the other thing that happened that creeped me out was just oh, gross I mm, 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 no no but yeah I plan on reading more of this on my lunch break and hopefully I can maybe finish it this weekend we're gonna think I can right I think I can but you know what after I have finished this one I only have one more Riley Sager book that I have not read that's been published and that's Final Girls which is the first one which is kind of weird that I like go all out of order but that but I do have the Final Girls so hopefully I can read that soon but yeah that's my update in my car I didn't know how this was gonna work but it worked okay so yes, I will see you guys in the next clip and I'm going to eat my lunch. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, it's me and it is Saturday, November 7th. So I didn't end up reading too much yesterday. I popped on with my clip from my car. Um, I don't like it. I didn't end up reading too much yesterday. I just read during my lunch break. So, I did not make as much progress as I wanted, but still enjoying this. It's still great. Glare, 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 glare. So, I'm on page 285, right here, chugging my way along. I don't think I mentioned in my last clip, but I have no idea where this is going. Um, I'm not good at figuring out, like, mysteries anyway unless the culprit is very very obvious or they like give me like a humongous hint but I'm just I'm not good at figuring out things I can never be a detective and I <laughs> but um yeah so I don't know what's going to happen in this where it's going if there's ghosts or not I mean it's making the case for ghosts but I don't I think that might be like what it twists me to think you know you know you know so yeah I have no idea but I'm enjoying it it's great I think you should read it the cover makes sense yes it's good 
So I will probably check back in later today because I've made the unofficial decision that um, Saturday will be like the last day of the vlogs. That Sunday starts at Saturday ends it. Nah, yeah, that's my thing. And I just took a shower, so I look like ugly. Oh, but it is what it is. So, yeah, I will update you guys later. Maybe I'll put in some nature clips. Who knows? Because it's very nice weather today. It's like in the 70s, mid 70s, maybe, which I love it. Don't give me cold weather, just give me warm weather. Nice weather. Yes. So I'll see you guys later. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, ooh. can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They can weigh me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head. I'm gonna live inside the upside down. For a minute and pretend. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. And if I say it enough, it gets ingrained in my head. And I start to see. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Hey guys, it's a me. Um, still Saturday. I think I'm just gonna end the vloggy vlog 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 here. I don't really have much more to say. Um, still reading, still liking. I think a twist came. We'll see. We'll see. So I definitely think that I'll finish this either tonight or tomorrow. Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. Yes, I, it will definitely be finished at some point. And yeah, I've only got that much left. Very good. This, I'd recommend it. If you like thrillers, a little spooky, 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 then pick this one up. Do it. And I'll save like the books that I'll read next for the next vlog because isn't that what you're supposed to do but yeah i'll see you guys later bye bye okay i totally forgot to tell you so to wrap up my week i did not do that so um this week sorry my dog came up to me um this week i finished one book and then i uh started another one so I finished Do Not Disturb by Tilly Bagshaw. I ended up giving that one, I think, 3.2 out of 5. It was trashy, it was messy, but it was kind of addicting and I just, I couldn't look away from it. Sorry, again my dog. Um, yeah, so I finished one book and then I started, and I'm still currently reading, home before dark. That's, that's it. My dog gave up on Whoa, honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa.